welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite bread recipes from the Beauty Chef's cookbook and that is buckwheat and seeded bread. So what I love about this bread is that it is gluten free, there's a ton of healthy fats in there and apart from the honey it's vegan. So there are no other animal products apart honey in the seeded bread. It's a beautiful way to start the day or a super healthy snack with avocado or simply on its own. So the first thing you want to do is get your soaking prep done because there are some little bits and pieces that need to be soaked for an hour before you start. So first you want to soak two cups of buckwheat. Some people call them buckwheat groats which is these tiny little pieces here of buckwheat. The next thing you want to soak is one third of a cup of amaranth, a third of a cup of pepitas or pumpkin seeds and a third of a cup of sunflower seeds. I just combine mine all together and leave them soaking in some filtered water. Now it's time to blend up the soaked buckwheat. So if you have a great big old blender, go ahead and put it all into the blender. If you only have a small food processor or something like that, just do it in small batches. What we're going to do is blend it on high until it's, until it's like porridge consistency, basically so that they've, they're, um, the buckwheat has been soaked, it's soft, and now we're going to grind it down to make a porridge. <laughs> Two tablespoons of ground flax seed, or some people call them linseeds. In here, I have one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of sea salt. I've got here some apple cider vinegar. I'm just going to pop in about two teaspoons. And in here, we have a cup of filtered water and a quarter of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. Then I'm going to add in my raw honey and I have about one tablespoon of raw honey. Okay, so I've let this sit for 10 minutes and the flax and chia have started to expand a little bit and so the batter is now a little thicker than it was before. I'm going to add one third of a cup of tricolored quinoa that has already been rinsed. And now with the other seeds and the amaranth that have been soaked, I'm going to add in about half into the batter and I'm going to save the other half for the top of the loaf. Once that's all combined, I've got my um, pre-oiled sheet of baking paper and a loaf tin. So I'm just going to pop that in. Now, don't freak out if the batter comes very, very close to the top of the tin. That's totally cool. It doesn't rise that much. You're going to bake this for a really, really long time at a low heat, so you're not going to have uh, 
too much rising up the loaf. Now I've got my oven on 160 degrees. We're going to bake this bad boy for two hours. Believe me, it is worth the wait. When I first made this recipe, I was hanging out for the whole two hours, but it is totally worth it. buckwheat and seeded bread. This can be stored in the fridge for about five days. It can also be stored in the freezer for three months. So if you're not going to eat it all or you want to bake one in advance, go for it. It's always better to be prepared. Now you can obviously have anything you like on top of this bread, but my go-to is always avocado with some salt and pepper.